This is my Dreamcast Portable Work Log Part 1. In this episode, I'll be studying the Dreamcast Digital I2S audio protocol and seeing if I can get sound at my custom I2S audio amp. Before I can start building my Dreamcast Portable, I need to design some assets that'll make it easier for me. So when you trim the Dreamcast, you normally cut off the, the built-in audio DAC and then you relocate it afterwards. But it's a lot simpler if I can just bypass the audio amp entirely and just use a digital audio amp rather than an analog one. This will give a better audio quality and actually save space in my case. So the audio DAC on the Dreamcast is actually off the shelf far from Digikey. And here I have the data sheet open. Uh, we can see the pinout. It tells us exactly where the I2S lines go. Also tells us um, the format. And we know that the format pin is pulled low. So that means this is a standard data format. And this is actually really good because without pretty much doing any work, we already know that the Dreamcast is 16-bit audio and it's in a standard data format. So now I just need to take some measurements for the master clock and the bit clock and the word select, and then we should be able to get sound out of the audio ramp. So here's the Dreamcast I2S digital audio. Channel one looks to be the word select, and it's about approximately 43.86 kilohertz. So that's what we expect for the Dreamcast. And channel two is the I2S master clock. The frequency around 11.31 megahertz. So I'm gonna take note of that and check the other signals. So on the top, that is the data bit clock. And on the bottom is the audio data. So we can see the frequency of the data clock is around uh, 2.809 megahertz. So now that we got the measurements, I'm gonna do a little math and we're gonna see if we can get sound out of the audio amp. So this is the I2S audio amplifier I designed for the Wee Boy Rev 3. Rather than design a new PCB just for testing, I'm just gonna use this because I already have it. So over here we're using a PIC 16F1503 and the actual amplifier is an LM49450. So according to the pinout, the digital core of the audio amp is also 3.3 volts so this 3.3 volts and 1.8 volt uh, power lines on the audio amp are going to be shorted together and both powered from 3.3 volts. And this will make it easier for testing because it already has the speakers uh, already on there. I can just play some speakers and we'll see if it works. This is my MPLAB project I made for the PIC 16 f 1503 This is just a simple program for uh, configuring the audio amp, reading the volume buttons, and sending data to the microcontroller. So I actually wrote this a long time ago. Uh, I'm not the proudest of this code, but anyway, it works, and that's all I need right now. So I just go through the pick setup, setting the registers. A lot of stuff is commented out because this structure was taken from an even earlier project. And uh, this setup right here is, this is the main part of the code I need to change. I commented out the stuff that was specific to the Wii, and down here I added uh, the new code for programming the I2S modes so that way the audio ramp knows how to read the data. And then the rest of the code just debounces the inputs and when it detects a button's been pressed, it sends the data to the audio ramp over I2C. All right, so after a bit of troubleshooting, I finally got the audio working. Uh, it wasn't working for a while and that was because everything told me on the internet, the data sheet from the audio DAC, if you search Dreamcast Digital Audio, everything tells you it was 16 bits, but I was second guessing myself because uh, with a 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate and a 11.28 uh, megahertz master clock, that means there's the word size is 32 bits. So I had it at 32 bits because that makes sense. Anyway, the audio sounded like garbage. I knew it wasn't right. Um, eventually, I just changed it to 16 bits for the heck of it, and what do you know? It, it worked. So what this means is that half the audio being transmitted is just at zero. For, uh, because it's 16 bits and the other 16 bits is zero. So the moral of the story is trust everything you read on the internet. I have a CD on there right now. I just have those tiny uh, speakers on there so it doesn't sound that great. That wraps up episode one. I got the I2S digital research done. And later on, I'll probably be making my own uh, audio amp specifically for this Dreamcast Portable. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the work log. 
and possibly learn something, and I'll see you later.